hello guys you're welcome back to my channel and in this um, video i'm going to explain what an initial condition is and what a boundary condition also is in pdes i believe you guys have already heard about it before but um, i'm going to use this opportunity to re-explain things to those who don't really understand what is going on with those so let me start with boundary conditions sometimes we want to find or we want to solve a pde within a region okay so for instance i have this pde i want to solve this pde in a particular region okay and then in that region i want to always know what is happening at the boundaries or at the borders of this region so for instance i want to know what is happening or what is the solution at this border i want to know that what the solution is here at this border and i want to know what the solution is at this border okay now this border here is when the space variable x for instance if i let's assume that our u the solution is u uh, it's a function of just one space variable and a time variable then I can have the solution the behavior of the solution at x being equal to zero that's one border and I can also have the behavior of the solution when x is equal to L okay and the solution or the behavior of this solution you know zero maybe t is going to be equal to a function of t and then u of l t that's going to be a function of t okay these are known to be the boundary conditions these are boundary conditions so the boundary conditions actually tell you the behavior of the solution at the borders of the you know the domain now this part of the domain is also going to be when time is equal to zero what's the solution like at t equals zero what's the solution like so for example let's say we we are talking of diffusion okay and at time equals zero let's say there is let's 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 pick you know um um let's say a glass of water okay and then or let's say a bucket of water where you drop a uh, um, um a solid potassium uh, potassium per manganese into you just drop this one into the bucket then at time t equals zero you can see that this you know potassium per manganese is just going to be concentrated at one point in like at one point within the entire domain right and as time goes on it's going to diffuse throughout the entire domain okay so at time t equals zero what is the solution like visually you can see that the potassium permanganate is just concentrated at one point within the domain and as time goes on it keeps on to you know spread throughout the entire domain so at time t equals zero what is happening so at time t equals zero sorry you can have some boundary let's have some at time t equals zero let's say zero t oh sorry oh my god sorry about that u of x zero that's going to be some g of x then this is an initial condition okay so an initial for initial conditions you're trying to check the solution okay at the beginning of time so at time t equals zero what is happening to the solution that becomes a um, 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 an initial condition and when you are not fixing time but then you go to the boundaries or the borders of this domain and check the solution or the behavior of the solution at these borders then you're talking of boundary conditions okay yes now these are not just restricted to the solution or the the solution in general but then you can also consider the derivative of the solution as well so ux of let's say no let's say um you know u yeah, let's say ux of you know x zero is equal to still g maybe g prime of x okay this is still an initial condition so we are not really um um cornering ourselves to just the solution 
but also its derivatives you can also find you can also you know initialize the the solution at even the derivative of 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 the solution at the beginning of time I, it, it, it's it's kind of weird but yeah that so we are not just restricting ourselves to the, the g of x zero g of lt no we can also consider the derivatives of you know the solutions at any point in time okay so that's basically what boundary conditions are and what initial conditions are um initial conditions are just there are no you know um, 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 how do I even put this? Initial conditions are not really broken into other types. Okay, an initial condition is just an initial condition. But for boundary conditions, there are cases of boundary conditions, and we are going to talk about um, them in this um, video. So, the first of boundary condition is just going to be the Dirichlet, the Dirichlet boundary condition. Okay, so for the Dirichlet boundary condition, um, all we know is that for we're just going to use examples to make this one, these ones, you know, um, clear. If I have the behavior of the solution, just the solution, not the derivative of it, but the solution. Um, at you know a point in space g of t then or maybe the u of you know zero t being equal to some h of t or let me call it maybe l yeah i used l right so this one is l h of t then these are called the <coughs> the clear boundary conditions you don't have any derivative of the solution at a point in space but then it is just the solutions at the borders of the um, of the domain. Then that is a Dirichlet boundary condition. Now, number two, we are going to talk of the Neumann boundary condition. And here, you have the derivative of the solution at the borders in space. Okay, so. Example is just going to be u x of zero t being equal to maybe a capital G of t, u x of l t. That's going to be capital H of t, and that we call the Neumann boundary condition. Okay, and then now we have the Robin. Okay, let me not talk about the Robin first. Let me talk about the periodic boundary conditions. So with the periodic bo uh, boundary conditions, what happens at one border is happening at the at the other border. So here I'm going to have u of lt, which is the solution or the behavior of the solution at the border, one of the borders, which is the l, when x is equal to l. And that should be equal to u of 0 t. I can also consider the derivatives of that u t u x of t l t being equal to u x of zero t so this is going to be the or this is what we refer to as the periodic boundary conditions what happens at one border or at one boundary the same thing is happening at the other and it includes the derivatives as, as well and for the robin boundary conditions which is a bit tricky but uh um you're gonna have mixed derivatives over here okay you're gonna have mixed derivatives you're gonna have or oh, it's a mixture of um, uh, the solution itself and then the derivative of the solution at one point of the or at points or at the borders of this um, domain so I'm gonna have u x of 0 t plus a u 0 t being equal to a function of t or u oh my god u x of you know l t plus b u zero t being equal to x of t so here you can see that there's a mixture there's a mixture of the derivatives and then the solution itself at some boundaries or some some borders and that gives you the robin 
boundary conditions now these are going to or these boundary conditions are very crucial in our study of pdes and then you'll see them in the later videos okay so um that's what i'm going to end <coughs> with the initial and then the boundary conditions now in our next video we are going to talk about well posedness and um i'd like to you to join me in that video because that's all that that's also one part one interesting part about pdes and yeah so see you in the in the next video and then if you like the content of my video leave a like on it and then subscribe to my channel see you in the next video